The Galapagos Islands are home to multiple species of giant tortoises. These can be divided into two main types, the normal domed tortoises and the strange-looking saddleback tortoises, which have a high opening in the front of the carapace. It was assumed that the high opening evolved to allow the saddleback tortoises to reach higher plants with their long necks. But perhaps their strange shape helps them to do something else. Tortoises can fall while walking on the rugged volcanic landscape of the Galapagos. The shape of their shell could help them roll back onto their feet easier. This may be why the saddleback tortoises have such a peculiar shape. Biologists wanted to test this hypothesis using computer models of falling tortoises. To make a computer model, they needed to know their shape and the position of their centre of mass. To capture their shape, 89 tortoises of five species were photographed from all angles and reconstructed in 3D. But how do you measure where the centre of mass is inside a living tortoise? First, you need some very relaxed tortoises. And you need to make sure the equipment is working correctly. Now, the tortoises can be placed on the measuring platform. The platform has several force sensors under it, from which the position of the centre of mass can be calculated. The digital model is now complete. The digital tortoises can now be rolled in the computer. Contrary to what was expected, saddleback tortoises need more energy to roll back onto their feet. Perhaps their longer necks help them to roll back, while domed tortoises are helped by their easier rolling shell shape. For more details, please refer to the paper in the journal, Scientific Reports.